Namaste. Welcome back to Do Yoga with the Phoenix. Today's class is going to be a super chilled out yin class, and then we're gonna then we're gonna do some yoga nidra. So if you're feeling stressed, this is the class for you. Stretch out the shoulders a little bit, get some, some relief into that area. So taking the right hand underneath the left, wrap and twist like ropes and then just pull the shoulders down as you breathe out and then gently breathing in and breathe out. Let the stress go, breathe in. Taking the other side, wrap and twist, breathing in, breathe out, So once again, just letting the breath settle down. And as I say, this, uh, this little sequence is designed to really just to let you chill out as, as best you can. So one of the best ways to do that um, is to just bring your legs up against the wall. This is just a fabulous thing to do at any time of day. You don't have to do a full yoga nidra practice. Just any time that you're feeling stressed, you have been on your feet all day, this is the best thing to do. Just swing the legs around like this. Hello. <laughs> and let your, let your hands float down beside you. And let the legs just sit up against the wall like this. And then just allow the breath to become soft and easy. And the principles of yin yoga, for those of you that have never really practiced it, or those of you who have, the first thing that we do is we come to a shape that suits our body. And so we, we're mindful of the functional objective of the shape, and this is just purely relaxing, allowing the blood to rush into a pool into the body. And you get a little stretch of the hamstring as well, perhaps. And then once we've found that that suits us, then we make a resolution to stay still. The essence of yin yoga is stillness.
Once we've made that resolution, then we hold the postures for our shapes for a period, a longer period of time than we do in other forms of yoga. Around about, well, in this class, between two to five minutes. Put the hands whenever you like. There's no, there's no have to union. You don't have to st stick to a strict um, discipline as far as the shape is concerned. There's none of that in Yin Yoga. The discipline is quite in the mind and just bringing ourselves back to the breath. Nice and easy. So in Chinese medicine, they believe that the hips are, are one of the main areas that we carry our stresses. So we're going to address that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let the feet come down and keep the feet together like this. And this is like a supported happy baby, I suppose. Once again, you can take the hands. This time I'm just going to bring my hands up and I'm going to have my right hand on my heart and my left hand on my lower belly, allowing the knees to drop down. And then from here. Just shuffling away from the wall a little bit now and bringing the right leg up so that the ankle and the knee are in, in, in situ and then we're just going to relax out here. So this is like sleep, sleeping swan. Sorry, I'm looking at it upside down. Uh, this is like sleeping swan. Um, but just, just a little bit even more yin like. So it's just a fabulous way to stretch through the glutes and the side of the leg down the fascia down the ITB band and all that area there. It's deeply relaxing. You don't have to do anything. And as I say, this uh, particular class is about just absolutely chilling right out. And you can stay in this as long as you like. I mean, they reckon that you can stay in a yin posture, posture up to about 20 minutes and still receive the benefits. And some of these ones that I'm doing today using the wall are so, so relaxing that you can see why. So, but I'll, you know, not well all day here. So just going to swap the other sides over. And as I say, if you want to take it for longer, just pause the video and then, and then do it for longer. But, uh, the, neck, the other side, you might be fine, but, and don't be surprised at all if the other side is, is different. So, um, allow yourself, give yourself that idea that you're different, um, one side to the other, and allow yourself to just um, be that way. 
So once again, just allow the breath to be soft and easy. Good, and then just rolling out of that, rolling around, coming directly onto our tummies. And then we're going to take um, a bolster and we're just going to place it underneath our chest, like this, and then just lie across it. So let's just let the belly fall out. And if you want a little bit more, perhaps. Now that's still not enough for you, then you can bring it underneath your chest like this and then, and then just rest the hands in the head, in the palms like this. But whichever way, I just want you to really just allow the, 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 the belly to drop out and then just letting the back become compressed a little bit, just a little bit of compression into the lower back. Good. And from there, we're now just going to take a lovely twist. So, the way that I like to get into this, um, this posture is by taking one leg down, one, sometimes called figure four, or uh, it's more commonly uh, known as deer pose in yin yoga. And so we've got like a four shape, like, like the back legs of a deer. And then we've got our bolster here. If you haven't got a bolster, you can use a pillow. And then just bring yourself so you're squaring your shoulders off against the bolster. And then bring the head down and looking the other way if it's available to you. If it's really not, then you can look the same way. But I find that it's better to look the other way, even if you have to move. I'm really quite stiff in the neck, so. And then just relax into it once again.
just allowing the stress in the lower back to dissipate now. And just gently come out of that posture. And we're just going to swap the sides around. I'm going to uh, turn around so keeping the bolster where it is, you might like to work the bolster the other way. So that the legs are the opposing way around now. And there I just get my bolster and I switch shovel my, my shoulders around a little bit. So my legs are in the same position, just the other way around. The other leg is on, on, on the bottom. And then I just come around and lay my head down so that I can just feel that gentle twist through the whole body. Hands can go wherever they want. And we're ready to come out of that. All right, so we're going to take uh, a child's pose now, just to open up the back a little bit. And you can use a bolster for this too, if, you, if that feels good. And just rest on the bolster. Or if not, up to you. You can just come down and rest on the hands. On the floor, hands can be back or forward. Knees can be wide or narrow. Find your posture. Maybe 
commitment to stay still or resolution and hold the posture. Good. And then just coming out of the child's posture. And now we're just going to make our way into Shavasana. So I'm going to get you into Shavasana, right, and just relax. And so Shavasana is just a uh, cop's pose, um, it's one of the Sanskrit words we use in Yin Yoga. And um, it's basically just lying with your legs flopping open, your hands facing upward, palms upward, and then just a little kink in your, so you're just tucking the chin in a little bit so that you're beautifully comfortable and relaxed. So I want you to get as relaxed as you possibly can. Now I'm going to move out of Shavasana because I'm, I'm going to conduct a yin a nidra class now, a nidra practice for you. So I want you though to stay in this Shavasana, make yourself supremely comfortable, as comfortable as you possibly can. And if you find yourself Comfortable, fat, see if you can get yourself to be 5% more comfortable. As comfortable as possible. Allow yourself to get really, really deep and allowing the breath to move in and out of the body. Being the witness of the breath. Just gently watching the breath. Just being here with yourself. There's nowhere to go. There's nothing to do. There is only the here and now I want you to get deep within yourselves. In Yoga Nidra, there's not much you have to do. All, you, all I'm asking you to do is just listen to my voice. Let my voice be your anchor. Allow the words to wash over you. Some of them you'll hear and some of them you won't. It doesn't matter. You can't do this wrong. Allow yourself this opportunity to become deeply relaxed. So the first thing that we do in Yoga Nidra is we set what's called a Sankalpa. And a Sankalpa is um, a positive statement said in the present tense. Something that you need to manifest in your life. So for, to give you some examples of a Sankalpa, you might find that you're finding it very stressful at the work at work right now. And so your Sankalpa might be, I cope easily with the stresses at work. Or perhaps, you know, you're not feeling the love from a loved one, your partner, let's say. Um, then perhaps your Sankalpa might be, I, my partner loves me exactly as I am. And if there's nothing that springs to mind, then always I love myself as I am, it's a great Sankalpa. So what I've found in my experience is that the ones that work are the ones that are heartfelt, something that you truly need, something that's going to help you grow, but not only you, help everybody else around you grow. 
So as you can see, those positive statements that I said would do exactly that if I was in that situation. So what we're going to do firstly though is we're going to drop into the heart and feel a deep sense of gratitude for what, I, what it is that you've already received in this life. Because if we don't feel grateful, we're not gra grateful for what we've already received, how can we ask for more? So find that deep sense of gratitude within yourself. Being grateful for what it is that you've received, the people that love you. It could be one thing or it could be a number of things. Just finding the essence of gratitude. Okay, so once we've found that, what I want you to do now is drop into the heart and ask your heart what it is that you need. And once the answer comes to you, bring it to mind, repeat it three times and simply let go. And we are planting the seed of this in your subconscious mind. And if you truly need this, this will manifest in your life. Come back to the breath, soft and easy. I'm going to take the mind on a rotation of consciousness uh, through the whole body. So all I want you to do is take your awareness to the body part that I mentioned, as I mentioned. Right hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, back of the hand, palm of the hand, wrist. Forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, rib cage, waist, hip, thigh, knee, chin, sole of the right foot, top of the foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Left thumb, index finger, middle finger, Ring finger, pinky finger, back of the hand, palm of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, rib cage, waist, hip, thigh, knee, shin, sole of the right, left foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth Take the awareness to the back of the body, right heel, left heel, right calf, left calf, right hamstrings, left hamstrings, right buttocks, left buttocks, base of the spine, middle of the spine, top of the spine, the whole spine together, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, Back of the neck, back of the head, top of the head, forehead, right eye, left eye, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, chin, throat, right chest, left chest, stomach, right hip, left hip, right foot, left foot, right leg, left leg, right hand, left hand, right arm, left arm, the torso, the head, the whole of the body. Come back to the breath, soft and easy. and down 
forward. Bring the number 27 to mind. Breathe in 27. Breathe out 27. Breathe in 26. Breathe out 26. Breathe in 25. Breathe out 25. Keep the count going like that. All the way down to zero in your time. And if you lose the count as an arrow, just come back to 27, start again. Drop the current, just the breath, soft and easy. I want you to imagine feeling very sad. The feeling of sadness throughout the whole body. See if you can emulate that the best of your ability. Very sad. And now nothing but happy. Happiness and joy throughout the whole body. The whole mind, how does that feel? Imagine feeling very cold. The whole body is shivering with cold. Cold throughout the whole body. A feeling of cold throughout the whole body. The whole body is cold. Shivering and cold. And now, nothing but beautiful warmth. Warmth throughout the whole body. Lovely and warm. Imagine the body becoming very light. So light that it feels as if it's drifting off the ground. Floating upwards toward the ceiling. Very light. And now imagine the body becoming very heavy. So heavy that it's melting into the mat. Allow the body to melt into the mat. Melting into the mat. Very deep. Coming very deep. Take your eyes and gently gaze at your third eye, which is just in the middle of your brow, just above your eyelashes, eyebrows, I beg your pardon, just above your eyebrows. Gently gaze there, looking at your subconscious mind playing out. 
see the patterns, the shapes, notice the infinite blackness, no start, no end. Allow yourself to be there. And within that space, I'm going to suggest some images. I'd like you to play them out to the best of your ability in that space. You sitting by a lake. You sitting by a lake. A lotus blooming. A lotus blooming. A swan making ripples. A swan making ripples. Bright sunny day. Bright sunny day. Tears rolling down your cheek. Tears rolling down your cheek. A hug from a friend. A hug from a friend. A path leading from the lake. A path leading from the lake. An old man pointing the way. An old man pointing the way. The Buddha meditating. The Buddha meditating. You walking down the path. You walking down the path. The smell of rain. The smell of the rain. A clap of thunder in the distance. A clap of thunder in the distance. A bridge over a rushing stream. A bridge over a rushing stream. The path winding through a forest. The path wandering through a winding through a forest. A temple in the distance. A temple in the distance. Golden gates at the temple. Golden gates of the temple. You opening the gates. You opening the gates. A brilliant white light. A brilliant white light. You becoming one with the light. You becoming one with the light. Back to the breath, soft and easy. Be the witness of the breath. Bring to mind your sankalpa, exactly the same as you said at the beginning of the practice. Bring it to mind, repeat it three times, and let go. The seed's been planted in the subconscious mind. The earth we use is gratitude. The water we use is belief. This will manifest in your life. You just have to believe. 
just believe and this will manifest in your life. Let go of everything, come back to the breath, soft and easy, slowly starting to take some deeper breaths into the body now. You take control of the breath, taking some deep breaths into the body, coming back to this level of consciousness, coming back, taking as much time as you want to come back. I'm going to leave you here now in Shibhasana. You take as much time as you want to come back. Thank you for practicing with me. truth in the speech, may we have gratitude in the mind, namaste.